My name is Vera Queen, and I am a junior art history major, curatorial studies and management and organization double minor from Silver Spring, Maryland, and I currently attend Spelman College. I work remotely in the Office of the Librarian and the Office of Communications on the project, The Legacy of Daniel A.P. Murray, Mapping the Stories. My responsibility is to research the significance of the Daniel A.P. Murray archive and research the stories of underrepresented communities of color in the United States. My presentation is titled, Back to Africa, the Reconstruction Campaign that sent freed African-Americans back to Africa between 1820 and 1900. Daniel A.P. Murray was an African-American bibliographer and historian who spent over 51 years working at the Library of Congress. His research focused on Black literary achievement. The A.P. Murray Archive is one of the country's oldest and most prolific archives of African-American literature in the United States. My research within the collection focuses on the Back to Africa movement that started in the United States as more communities of free people of color began to form near the end of the Civil War. Organizations like the American Colonization Society started to encourage Black Americans to return to Africa through established colonies like those in Monrovia, Liberia. The American Colonization Society founded in 1817 to send free African Americans back to Africa as an alternative to emancipation, um, sent, donated its records in 1913 and 1964 to the Daniel A.P. Murray Collection to offer a new perspective regarding the origins of the Back to Africa movement, the people involved in its development, and finally its results. Starting off with the Negro in everyday life, this source analyzes Black achievements of African Americans advocating against a return to Africa movement. This source offers a significant perspective into why Black Americans might have felt negatively regarding said movement. The Future of the Colored Race in America, being an article in the Presbyterian Quarterly Review of July 1862, the author reflects on slavery in the U.S. in the Civil War, promoting African Americans returning to Africa for uplift. The author of this source, William Aikman, advocates for Black Africans to return to Africa to spread the word of God through the continent, one of the many popular justifications for colonization from pro-migration advocates. The Relations and Duties of Free Colored Men in Africa, in America to Africa, a letter to Charles B. Dunbar, MD Esquire, speaks out for Black liberation, advocating instead of a return to Africa movement, taking up space where quote unquote problems arise in aspects of Christianity and commerce. This source can thoroughly show the perspectives of a pro-Black pro back to Africa supporter from a freed Black perspective. It can also describe the American Colonization Society's efforts from a different source in the society itself. Finally, this source is an original document from the American Colonization Society, which appeals to more African-American colonizers in Liberia. This source can immerse the reader into everything occurring within the society, good and bad. The reader can see that although the colony's infrastructure is improving, there are issues with financing the colony and bringing in more African-Americans from the United States. Finally, to conclude, this history is important because the stories of those who return to Africa are rarely discussed in the abolitionist debate. These sources provide a holistic perspective, highlight highlighting both the good and the bad that came out of the Back to Africa movement. They also highlight mainly Black but also white perspectives of this said movement. These documents could also help track families who went back to Africa to their relatives back in the United States. Highlighting underrepresented community stories through platforms like the Library of Congress allow these stories to be heard. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation. I would like to thank the Library of Congress, the Office of Communications, and the Office of, Library of the Librarian for helping to make this possible, in addition to my project mentor, Deanna McCray-James. Thank you.